Hello everybody, welcome to this first episode of uh, Through the Eyes of a Kerbal, where I'm going to be doing a career mode in stock USB, and uh, while doing so, only flying my missions from a uh, first person view, meaning in the cockpit, or from mission control for maximum Kerbal immersion. So here we are as a brand new pioneer space program and uh, I need to talk to you a bit about my mod list first. So I've got, of course, some uh, visual and utility modes, uh, a bunch of IVA modes. Uh, most noticeable is, uh, I'd say, probe control room, which allows me to control craft from the mission control. I mean, unmanned craft. Uh, also free IVA, which allows me to walk inside uh, uh, IVA space, which is amazing, really. Uh, up and uh, yeah, there's a bit of roleplay uh, involved in this. Uh, as uh, first, I'm gonna be using only uh, old school NASA style uh, type of cockpits and uh, mission control, uh, as we are early space program. And later and later, as we evolve and unlock new techs, I'm gonna start using more advanced cockpits and eventually go to touch screens and crazy stuff. So there's going to be a nice uh, progression uh, in this. Okay, so let's get uh, started. So here's our first rocket, Cairo B1. Um, nothing special about it. Uh, only I should mention I have the tax cell district mode and uh, which allows me to range safety my spacecraft. So I put this to the abort group and launch. And welcome to the mission control room. So this is a custom version I made, uh, basically in the old school NASA style. So here it's the flight director, so that's the main uh, seat we'll be using. Uh, we've got engine stuff here, um, some monitor, diski, here a CRT display with a bunch of screen, MacJab, action groups. Here are all the utilities, temperature, com net, uh, solar, electricity, even life support. Uh, here it's the landing uh, seat, crash specialist. Uh, special cheers to cosmonaut crash, by the way, this, i this is your seat. <laughs> uh, yes, so we've got landing prediction, the, the globus, parachute gear, brakes, uh, engine. Uh, we got coffee, v very important in stuff. Uh, this is used for landing as well. Uh, basic stuff uh, with uh, instruments more related to landing, impact speed, slope, etc. Then thermal for re-entry, bunch of alarms, nya nya nya. Okay, and then uh, Capcom, which here actually is the like the docking and navigation section. So we've got again the nice CRT display, uh, Le Café FDAI. Uh, this is used for docking uh, and target related informations docking mode na 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 na, na. so let's launch the look at this full throttle uh, by the way there is no uh, science on this just to get our first uh, milestones okay let's turn this on and maybe turn this on maybe too Okay, and ignition. So we can see the thrust to weight ratio, remaining delta V here, acceleration, vertical speed, altimeter, the G's wobbling, dynamic pressure, our orientation on the nav bulb. Point five G's. Apoapsis is at twenty five kilometers. You can see it here too. And shut down. Okay, so apoapsis, yeah, twenty five kilometers barely. So okay, that's done. I'm gonna range safety. And let's watch this. Yep, spacecraft destroyed. So the milestones only gave us enough science to unlock the next node. 
which I'm gonna pick right now. So here is Cairo B2. Uh, it consists of two stages. Actually, I'm gonna change that. So I added a little camera here, thermometer and antenna to transmit the science. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing. There is actually free IVA support for, um, for mission controls. So you can exit your seat and walk around, press buttons and stuff and watch other Kerberos. So this, this is Gene Kerman, like director, the scientist. Uh, I don't remember his name, whatever. <laughs> so here we are, ready and set for a second flight. Uh, we can see the camera display right here. Okay, full throttle and stage. Do some science and transmit. Yeah, this is working. You can see the SRB fuel here, remaining delta V. Oh, we are pitching over. Okay. Okay, that's bad. We don't have control, so we can't do anything. Which heading are we? West, so we are over the water. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna stage. We are going down. What's the altitude? 2000 meters. Huh, <laughs> that's bad. Uh, sh uh, we're gonna crash. Yep. And we weren't at all above water. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this mission was a success. We got our first contract complete, more milestones, uh, some science. So I'm gonna pick uh, basic rocketry, I guess. Yep. And pick our next contract, which gonna be, which is gonna be flying an airplane to change things a bit. So here's our first uh, plane uh, for astronauts to train for future uh, rocket missions. So it's a small plane, less than a ton, with a small prop engine, just a thermometer, and uh, yeah, the first goal is gonna be to not crash and get some wings and come back alive. So the plane was built, and uh, our fearless test pilot Jebediah Kerman is gonna be in the cockpit today. Uh, tu -tu -tu. Let me check if this works. Collect data, yes. Okay. So turn on SAS, turn on the battery. Pilot heat cabin lights, lights, and start the engine. Okay. Turn off the brakes and full throttle. And we're getting airborne. How amazing. Okay, I'm gonna turn on flyby wire. Let's do some maneuvers. This plane is pretty stable. Let's do some science. And while I'm here, I'm gonna grab more science from uh, the biomes, biomes around. As the tradition, uh, the KSP tradition in place. <laughs> so that should be the grasslands. Okay. K 
carry over water, so... Yep. Okay, that's good enough. Let's head back home. Oh, I can see the water from my body. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, I should mention in this uh, save, of course I'm not gonna revert light and uh, do quick loads on my dumb mistakes. Of course, is there, if there's a crazy KSP bug or whatever, I'm of course gonna qu quick load, but uh, other than that, uh, whatever happens, happens, you know? It's more fun this way. <laughs> so throttle down, we are at... Um, yeah, 75 meters per second. Turning for the runway. Brakes on. Let's bleed off some speed. Okay, nice and gentle, nice and gentle. On. Okay, come on. Yes. Touchdown, brakes. <sighs> okay. Turn off the engine. Tuk, tuk, tuk. Tuk. And first plane in the air very nice so that did get us a bunch of science uh, actually a bit too much to my taste I'm gonna tweak the settings a bit uh, in the difficulty settings because I don't like when it goes too fast okay okay and we got our first wheel bounds first first Kerbal landing on Kerbin yep uh, let's unlock a few more nodes shall we uh, pressure, yeah, that's good. And I think I'm gonna pick, uh, that's 45 science. General rocketry seems nice. Yeah, let's do rockets. For now, we're gonna reach for the stars and try to break the common line, get to suborbital trajectory. Oh, by the way, I noticed the mission complete uh, thing, which is quite nice. The historic flight was thankfully caught on camera by the lone press agent who responded to the press invitation. His article about his about your flight has been read by millions, and you have now spurred the imagination of young Kerbals and <laughs> Kerbalinas. I didn't know. Kerbalinas. Yep. So, for the last flight of this episode, we're gonna send a Kerbal into space. And our brave Jebediah is gonna ride on this curb curry uh, stick, rocket, whatever. So we got a swivel engine we unlocked, some fuel tanks, cameras, goo, 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 uh, low atmosphere, high, and space, science, uh, heat shield. I should mention an important thing, I use a config, which uh, uh, I made uh, which lowers the ISP in the atmosphere of all the engines. Uh, this is to force uh, you, uh, the player, I mean me, uh, to not be able to do crazy usual KSP type rocket. Uh, I mean everything can be a SSTO really, so this forces you to make at least two stages rocket to orbit, which sounds more um, natural, right? Uh, also one last thing I'm want to show you. Here's my action groups and I can name them here with this uh, syntax and then they are gonna appear in the cockpit as you will see. So this is very nice uh, and yeah let's go. Here we are on the pad. Let's get in and power this beautiful cockpit. So battery lights, main lights, here I now see the charge Time to apoapsis. Uh, where am I? So we see I'm at KC. And turn on the cameras. So that's the one on the fuel tank. Okay. Okay, turn on the tape meter for altitude display. 
an altitude rate. Uh, we've got a fuel cell on board too. Okay, full throttle. And... I uh, know, SAS. Yeah. Stage. Okay, lift off. So we've got a pretty low thrust to weight ratio, that's good. For the stress of our Kerbal. We're climbing straight up. So this should have enough delta V to get over the atmosphere. Oh, I should do science. Yep. And goo. Collect. High G's, how much? 3 G's, it's alright. 30 km apoapsis. We're going at uh, 700 meters per second. I'm gonna slow down a bit to have a trust weight ratio. Turtle down. Eighty kilometers apoapsis. We are at thirty kilometers altitude. I'm gonna go to one hundred, I think. Yep. The point is, I don't want to go too high because I've got a mod installed which uh, adds a G-force limitation to pods. And this pod is rated only to 8 Gs. If it goes above that, it will go boom. And I don't want that. No, no, no. So let's do science. Collect data. Let's open our goo. Collect. So this uh, turn off so how can I see, oh yeah 80, oh we are in space, amazing and the last cool container so all the science is done I'm gonna stage to separate from the first stage Oh, look at the sun. Hello. Uh, time to apoapsis is 30 seconds. We are at 100 kilometers. Oh, we are right by the fuel tank. I'm gonna push it a bit. <laughs> oh, that's so careful. Goodbye fuel, goodbye first stage. So we can move around a bit, so Jebediah can practice uh, his maneuvering. Oh, that's the moon. That has to be the moon. Okay, we are descending. So I'm gonna time warp a bit. Okay, we are in atmosphere. Uh, so... Choo -choo -choo, oops. Surface minus. So here, I'm in surface mode and minus, that means retrograde in the surface reference. 50 kilometers, still going at 1000 meters per second soon. So we've got the G meter here to watch out. We should see the temperature increasing. IG 4G 6 Stop Thank you <laughs> Okay <laughs> Can't turn off SAS now 8 kilometers I'm gonna Arm the shoot Shoot deployed Okay, should deploy 300 meters. Altitude warning. Ok, 
Okay. So uh, it's a bit flickery, but uh, okay. Whatever. Thirty meters, twenty, ten, uh, eight. Uh, can I go EVA from here? I would like to leave, please. How do I leave? Crew EVA. Jebediah. Okay, so with this beautiful view, uh, I say you to... How do you see the size of these flowers? They are ginormous. The grass too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, I say you to the next time. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you have any comments, feel free to to write them, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.